Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this series, I will be making new 3D printer. As you know, the 3D printing is one of the best rapid prototyping method that it can be used to print any object or part. I always wanted to have my own 3D printer so that in future whenever there is a need to print some parts for my upcoming projects instead of wasting time and I can quickly print it in house. Also with 3D printer you can make interesting show pieces decorative stuff for your house. There are many 3D printers available in market. I could have purchased one of them and used directly but there is restriction on cost and build size. As the build size increases, the cost of printer increases drastically. Most of the printer has build volume of around 200mm by 200mm by 300mm. So I wanted to have a big 3D printer having a area that will have build volume of around 300mm by 300mm by 600mm so I can print object of big size. That's why I decided to build this in house and also the overall cost is very less if I compare to the ready made printer of same size. But making this in house the one main advantage is that I can use customized parts for better accuracy. So, in the upcoming days, I will be discussing all the steps to building this 3D printer. All its parts, their features, modeling and actual building. So, you can also build it at your home. I will be discussing every details, so stay connected to my channel. This 3D printer design is inspired by Tech2C channel, thanks to him for his development. I will be changing some design construction as per my requirements having a large build volume. So initially I will be making this having a single Z axis and single extruder but in future I will turn this to a dual Z axis and dual extruder. So here are some parts which I purchased some are from online and some are directly purchased from the shop. For now we will just look some parts. These are the 3D printed mountings. I printed this using ABS material having 40% infill and 0.2 mm layer thickness. So this mounting I will use to mount the motor, shafts, rods, bearings and other parts. These are the NEMA 17 um, stepper motors for X, Y, Z axis and extruder. Here are some screws and nuts of different sizes. Here are the corner brackets, here are the linear bearings, here are beds and pulleys. This one is a extruder. This is a single nozzle extruder. This is a spool, our raw material for printing. These are the 2020 T-slot anodized aluminum profile. Those are our the building blocks for the main frame. And these are some rods and lead screw for X, Y and Z axis. Don't worry, I will unbox everything one by one and I will tell you every detail. Here is the power supply. This one is our heat bed platform. There are the electronics, Arduino, ramps board and end stop and all. So I will share the link to all the parts and also the STL files of these 3D printed parts in the description below and also i will make in next video i will share the 3d pdf of my 3d printer model and from that you can measure the various distances and you can make the changes and build accordingly so you won't be facing any difficulties in dimensioning if you are thinking to build this is just an introductory video and in few days we will complete it so stay connected